In this video, I'm going to explain you how to create a command and use the patch command to update a record. So I have this model driven app. In my previous example, what I did is if I go into any record and if I do not see any atomic number over here, then I should see this command button, atomic number. If I go into say record of iron, I have this atomic number and that's why I don't see this atomic number button. Now the goal for this particular exercise would be if we do not have an atomic number, then if I click on this atomic number, then uh, maybe it should fill up the atomic number randomly. Okay. So currently if I click on it, nothing happens. So what, I've, what I'll do is like I'll go into this uh, command bar button so if you do not know how to edit a command bar what you can do is you can go into the model driven app so let me show you how you do that you first create a model driven app simple model driven app go into the edit command bar and select whatever action you want now if you want to edit a record then you need to go into the main form and click on edit and once you are in that context you can just type in uh, just click on new and new command and then you drop in a command now i've already created this button now this button will show on some condition so if you see in visibility it says show on condition from formula so show on condition from formula and then from here if we select visible it says is blank self dot selected dot item dot atomic number so if atomic number is blank then only show this button right so now what I'll do, I'll, I need to run something. Okay, so if I select this button, I'll say action run a formula. So I'll just open the formula bar and then say on select do something. Now what I want is I want a random number to be saved. Okay, now how do I generate a random number using power effects is you use a random command. Now rand command, if you see over here, it says returns a random number greater than or equal to zero and less than one. So it, it will generate a number between zero and one evenly distributed. Now I will take that number and then I'll multiply it with 100. Okay, so this will be my logic. Okay, so once you know the logic, what you will do is like on click of a button. What I want to happen is update a field. Now the field is, the field name is atomic number right this field i need to fill in so if i go into this record if i click on atomic number then what i want is atomic number to be filled with some random value between zero and one and i'll maybe between zero and hundred okay so if you click on this click on run formula open formula bar and then write a patch command so i'll just say patch patch what patch the current table the current table is mineral so it is automatically getting selected now what I need to specify is the record, the current record. So current record is selected using self dot selected dot item. So item is for one record and all item is for all the record, but I just want it to be updated on basis of the record which I'm currently in. So that's for that table. So I'll select self dot selected dot item. Now I need to update. Now update will go in the form of a <clears throat> single brace open and here you need to specify what. So under atomic number, I want some value. Now that value I need to specify. Now that specified value is you can put in say any number over here uh, or any text, but I will use another power effects command, which is rand and I'll say multiplied with say 100 and that's it. Okay, so I'll just close the brace and then close it. Now, this is how you basically generate a random number and then attach it to atomic number. I'll click on save and publish and let's see what happens, whether it is able to pick that value or not. So once it is published, I'll click on play and it might take like a couple of seconds for the changes to reflect. So you may need to do control F5 if you immediately want to see the result. Now, if I go into say one of the record and I'll just say control F5 again because I don't see the ribbon. 
button so I can see the ribbon button over here now it is showing me disabled if I go into gold it is showing me enabled now now if I click on this button then it has picked a value it says 66.173 and I'll click on save now that button is not visible because you have some value over here so if I remove this value and if I click on save then I should see that button again I can see this button now if I click on atomic number button again then I should see some different number right so this is how we have created this logic now if you go into this logic over here now it is generating a random number uh, and I'm just multiplying it with 100 now you can play around with it like if you do not want the decimal value if you do not want or if you want to just seal the value so let's see doing that operation if i can seal the value so uh, let me see if i have seal or or maybe if i just want to put some precision around that uh, value i can even add additional command on top of it so random is just one of the command so i can uh, either multiply it with say another zeros uh, and then I can get a whole number out of it. So like this you can play around with the logic but then the goal of this particular video was to edit some column within a table. So what we have done on basis of atomic number the first step what we have done is like if you do not have atomic number this field is blank then you will see this button and if you click on this it will automatically generate some random number and then that random number will get displayed in this particular field now as you see over here this random number has been picked over here and once that random number is available as a part of that column that button will be invisible and you can just go ahead and save the record now same action you can perform it for other columns as well now as this is atomic number is blank i'll click on atomic number over here it will generate an atomic number and then the button will disappear so that's it folks this is how you basically use the patch operation to update a record for a specific column in a table using a model driven app thanks for watching